waiting for an ambulance. It is 2.19 p.m. Sunday the 20th. So let's see this time if they decide to uh, try to embarrass me, harass me, ask me personal questions. A note on my door says to avoid chit chat and stuff like that. Last time it seemed like somebody tipped them off on where I wanted to go and that made me really uncomfortable. So let's see how they handle things this time. Also, um, I put additional security measures in my house. That's it. And I'm gonna document this real quick. Ah, oh, you're gonna need to bring the gurney. I yeah, can't walk they're, down they're the street. They okay. Just took What's your name? My name's Riley. Riley. Yeah. Hi, Riley. I'm Melissa. Melissa? Yep. That's Please cool. don't ask me personal questions, okay? Okay. And just know I am wearing a body cam. Okay. That's okay. Fine. So all the results today might go to the FBI. Okay. All right. Can you tell me what's going on, like why we're here? Or? Um, I am having some pain back here. On your neck. On my neck, it is okay. causing some nausea, vomiting, and low appetite. My hair started falling out. I'm a little dizzy okay. from it, it, so I need to get it checked out. Is this new pain, or is it? No, this has been persistent now for about three months. Okay. Like, this isn't my first trip. I took um, an ambulance not long ago, Okay. and um, I don't know if they did enough tests. Maybe it was too early to okay. figure out what was going on, but since the symptoms persist, I need to go back and have a more thorough check. I'm not okay. going to tell you what hospital you're taking me to until we're loaded in the ambulance and so down okay. the street. No. No then worries. you can call once we're out of the complex just because I may have had to report some things around here and okay. some people might not like me. Yeah. So I don't want to give personal information. Whatever you're comfortable with, that's okay. not a problem. And I'm sorry my service animal comes with. I do have documentation for her. Last time it was perfectly fine. Okay. fine. And an overnight bag just in case because last, last time they almost kept me overnight. Okay. So I'm sorry, I was late. Hi, late. what's your name? My name's Steve. Hi, Steve. So you're having neck pain? Yeah. What else is going on? Um, the neck pain is causing some dizziness and Dizzy. nausea okay. and vomiting. Like I've had a few vomiting episodes. My hair has started falling out. I can barely eat. I've lost so much weight. But like these are my normal pants and okay. yeah so i'm losing weight and since i'm already unable to walk mm -hmm. um because of another health condition okay. it is just complicating things so, a bit more than and you said these symptoms have been going on for three months or so yeah now are you willing to share any other health information that i can share with the ambulance crew pulling up here um, or or would you prefer a, to do it, share it with them once you're in the back? I would prefer to do it in privacy, yeah. Uh, can I at least tell them your name? Yeah, oh yeah, Melissa. of course, of Melissa? course. Melissa? Yeah. Okay. Melissa. And this is Honey, and she's a good girl. Okay. Honey? She's, she's have a pet is Honey. She's very Oh, sweet. wow. Hi, Honey. She's also a possible federal witness, so I have to take her everywhere. But she's gotcha. my service animal, too, so she helps me find things. Pretty good. All right. 
So you, are you unable to walk at all? Do we need to? Yeah, you're going to have to pretty much carry me. Pretty and much I'm carry you from her, this point. I'm going to keep her on me at all times. Okay. Uh, yeah, so with that, we're probably going to have to move you guys over to the back. Okay. Have you ever been on our stair chair before? Um, no, I have not. Last time they tried to make me walk down the stairs and I fell. fell? I fell okay. flat on my ass. It was the most okay. embarrassing thing. Alright, so it's kind of a chair with some wheels. Okay. Um, like once we get to the stairs, it has like kind of like a some skids that come out. Okay. So it leans you back a little bit. Okay. And then these skids control the speed you okay. go down the stairs. Okay. It feels kind of awkward, kind of like someone's like got you and like tilts your chair back like you're in a ball, but there's multiple here people here. Just as we take you down, just keep your arms in, don't try to grab anything. Okay. Hold, hold on to okay. your bird there and the um, only thing is, is I'm going to ask that, that, like, you're going to have to carry these, but they've got to stay in my sight at all times. Okay. So you can probably take the small bag. But the hospitals are pretty packed They right might now. take them overnight, so. Okay, well, we can't take the big bag because yep, there's no, there's have no room right now. We have to just in case I stay overnight. Okay, there's no room for it in the hospital, ma'am. They're, they're, we're, the, I've the done this before. Packed. This is what I did last time, and I can't unlock my door and get it back in. I've got a set of body locks in there to get through, and I can't do that right now. So it has to go with. I'm sorry. I know it's inconvenient. I'm asking sorry, you to bear with me and help me out here, okay? Because I also have my medicines and medical documentation in here, so that way the hospital that we go to has all the current information. Because I actually don't like they didn't live up here so all of my health records are in a different state they're not going to know anything about me without this stuff so it's actually on the computer no probably not and i'm sorry i'm not trying to be a big pain in the butt since you can see me so we can I'm legally okay. blind. I don't okay. see you. So you said bags have to be. So from there, if I grab your bags and just move to the bottom of these stairs, are yep. you okay with that? Yep. Right now? Well, once I'm in the ambulance, I want this one and the yep. one by okay. me. But that so you're okay one. with me grabbing them now and moving to the bottom of the stairs? Yep. Okay. Yep. As long as they stay within my sight, I just have to document that for the FBI. And I'm sorry, this is such a pain in the freaking ass. My parents brought me up here across state lines and uh, kind of abandoned me and didn't help me get set up with disability services or anything. And then they uh, did a summit project out here that put everybody in uh, $55,000 of assessments for a loan that they defaulted on. So if I give me your hand here, I would just have you stand and pivot there. Perfect. Hey, you're good at that. You're the first person in the freaking state that's good at that. Well done. First time for everything. Well, last time I fell on the stairs, so that was much better. All right. This is going to kind of slide in the air. That's fine. Go for it. I'm used to the, the old way of the straps. I'm kind of a dinosaur. One more going. Bring that with just in case. Is that it as well? Yep. They got wheelchairs and walkers at the hospital. I know, I know, but last time I didn't bring it, and I'm sure yeah, they put me in, I couldn't. They, we are, we're bringing, we're, ste we're, we're already overstepping. There's a limit on what they, we can actually fit in the ambulance. Man, I don't want it to get stolen. Um, all right, I guess we just bring it in. And pray that this is here when I get back and doesn't get stolen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tuck it in this corner here, okay? All right. You just want to go down so we're going to do tracks down all the way. I don't think we need tracks really. Don't be lost here on the lower end. So. We'll be alright. Just get you down and then we can turn it. Yep, I am. I'm holding it up. Yeah. They did not want to put a ramp in here. You good? I asked for a ramp and they would not do it. Alright. Don't want 
vehicle. Oh, good job. Awesome. Much better than last time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yep, just stick it there. Uh, what's the bird's name? Honey. 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 Okay. Does Honey want to be? Do you want Honey covered up, or do you want me to you want to leave her out? I'll leave her out so she doesn't get scared. How you doing, sweetie? Can you say hi? Can you do a wave? Just over your lap. my water and stuff in it just in case I'm a uh, former coma patient so I go through a lot of water thanks guys so my name is Drew hi Drew I didn't How are catch you? your name I'm doing well my name is Melissa this is honey we've had a hell of a time in Vancouver man. how long have you been in Vancouver about Four years. Can I put this on this arm? My parents convinced me to move up to the cross state one. lines. Go ahead and relax the best you can, okay? Huh? I said go ahead and relax that arm the best you can. And can I put so, this on one of these ungloved fingers? Yeah, here. Yeah, go with that one. Yeah, that's fine. Just relax. Yeah, I'm gonna have you straighten this one up just so it doesn't squeeze you too tight, okay? I don't always remember to take these off after I work with the animals. So I understand you didn't really want to answer any questions until you got in the back of the ambulance. Yeah. Um, what is going on today? Why, why did you call so, us? A couple months ago, um, in the middle of the night, I felt this huge, sharp pain in the back of my head right back here okay. and right up here. And it lasted for a long, long time. I mean, I, I was like crying and screaming in pain all night. And then it eventually stopped. And ever since then, the pain has continued. Like the acute pain of whatever was happening in the moment subsided a bit, but there's been this low grade pain back there ever since. And it is causing nausea, vomiting. I don't know if you can tell, but like my hair is falling out in like big clumps. I can't eat. Um, it's causing me to be like woozy and unsteady. And I also have um, neuropathy, and I am a former burn patient. I, in my 20s, I, I suffered third degree burns over 80% of my body, ended up in a coma. Okay. And um, that's when I became disabled. It kind of changed my whole life. I was yeah. in college and stuff. And have you, um, have you seen somebody lately? You said this has been going for a couple months. Have you been seen for it before by a doctor at all? Uh, this stuff up here, up here I have not been getting enough medical care. My parents, I think they put me here and abandoned me. And then like I said, there may have been an HOA scam of a multi-million dollar loan that got defaulted on so we could all lose our homes. And the company that did the construction are friends with my family. So I think my family had some involvement in learning up here. They also brought my aunt up here and right after they got me here, my aunt died. Boy. like within like six months um and i started getting scared because i i was like wait a second yeah. and which, which hospital do you want to go to because then drew, drew can listen to the rest of the story while i get up, up to the hospital. okay um let's go with ohsu in portland i don't think we can go across the river across we can the check you today. can you can they told me on the phone that you guys had to take okay. me they, even we if have, it we have protocols so if we're level less than level five in the county we can't go across and if they're not accepting patients we can't take them there either that so. would be the best place to go though because that's okay. who treated we'll me after my coma okay, so we'll they would have some medical records that the places up here don't have yep. and that's we'll, what we'll, i'm trying we'll to. check 
Okay. As soon as, hopefully when I get there, they'll be able to look up and see my medical history and realize that extensive shit has happened just since. Because last time they saw me, I could still walk. Then uh, I woke up one day with my legs paralyzed out of the blue. Don't know how it happened. This was about six years ago. Hmm. And then after that, I got hit by a car on the night I was trying to sell my condo in, back in Portland. And that's when my parents were like, okay, you need more help. Move to Vancouver. We'll get you set up with disability Where were you services. Living at before? In Portland. Portland. But I was doing okay on my own. It was like everything in my life just came crashing down. All these accidents just started. Oh. And my health just declined like really quickly within like a Dispatch. year or two. Sorry if I missed you. Can I get the from accident down, after accident. And I didn't realize what was going on at the time. Yeah. Um, but I am now thinking my family may have done this before with other family members. My grandpa's dead. My aunt's dead. Aunt Victoria's dead. Um, my stepdad's sister is you. now dead. And they all had bizarre health declines mm. too. Crazy. Right, Would like oh, you see is green. We're floating so right around five and six. Right my now. mom, it turns out, might be the dawn of the Liberty Posse. We're the Liberty family. My grandpa was Norman Liberty, and he invented the canning machine and the oh, conveyor wow. belt. So our levels are fairly on the lower side. Okay, so it's a nine one one ambulance going across the border, so they prefer to stay in the county. I need to get close. So you can be evaluated by a hospital, and then as levels get higher, you can request to have an ambulance take you over there once levels get higher. Then maybe I just shouldn't go. Maybe I should just stay here and. and well, how do you get back in? Home. You said your room's locked all the Yep. Yep. That's not but, good. Sitting on a porch. Okay. When I called and spoke to 911, I said. 911 doesn't have any, really anything to do with us. No, but I have looked up the law, and you guys are required to take me to the hospital well, with my choice, even law, if it's important. I'll take you to the closest facility you're capable. That is a 911 ambulance. The hospital of my choice. Nope, it's not. I can get a supervisor please, on the line for you. Please. All right. This could be a matter of life and death. Look, okay. I'm worried I'm going to die here. I have no help. My family's well, abandoned me. Well, that's we're taking you to the closest hospital. All right, well, we're not going to Salmon Creek. We're not going to Peace Health. That's the only two hospitals Southwest in the Washington is where my grandmother died. My parents moved her up here, too, so we can't trust that place. So so this is why I'd rather go to OHSU. I agree. Real because quick, my while parents he's um, working on that, dear, can I get your first and last name, please? Melissa or O-R-R. Melissa. Is that two L's? Uh, one L, two S's. One L, two S's. And your last name was what? So. Tell them I'm not ambulatory. I need to have some tests done, and they're the only yeah. place that has my medical so, records. What was your last name again? O R R. And your date of birth? Your date of birth, please. Let me sit. Let me sit right next to you. So you know. Do you want to sit up? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I got you. Uh, Twelve what? 1228 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. I am requesting to go to OHSU because they would have more complete medical records. I'm a former coma patient. I had third degree burns in a coma and also am unable to walk because of uh, fasciopathy, which is a type of whole body neuropathy. And this is the only place that would have access to my medical records. Um, up here, I haven't lived up here for long enough and been established with enough medical care up here that these people aren't going to know my extensive medical history, which might be really important in treating me. So that's why I was asking to go to OHSU if there's any way you can please make that happen. Okay, I understand that. Um, unfortunately, right now the county's pretty busy, so I have to keep my ambulances on this side um, of the river. However, the hospitals are able to share information. So we got that going for us. So my crew is more than happy to take you to one of the hospitals in the county. Um, unfortunately, at this time, I can't 
Okay, ma'am, I'm an FBI informant. I had to report my family because they might have been luring family members across state lines to die. My aunt died at one of the hospitals up here right after they moved me up here, and they had moved her up here too. So I would feel more comfortable with OHSU if you could make it happen. If not, I'll deal with whatever. Okay, all right, all right, all right, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Just know I'm documenting all of this, and since I've gone to the FBI already, all the results of today are going to the FBI too, because they know all about my health issues and what's been going on with my family, and I think they have been investigating. So, the more cooperation we can get from you, the better. Okay, I understand. Can I talk to my medic again? And what was her name again? Vanessa. Vanessa? Okay. okay. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a bitch. Can, this has been the scariest thing I've ever freaking been through. Um, boy, I just want you to understand that we, we don't, us, me and Sean and I, we don't have the choice, right? We don't have the choice. We have set rules that we need to follow. So I get it. I, I get understand it. you're frustrated, but taking that just on us so. is just going to make it difficult, more difficult for you to, and I, okay? I'm which hospital are we going to? to? So which hospital would you like to go to on these two? We're more than happy to help you out the best we can. Let's go to Legacy Salmon Creek. Okay. Legacy Salmon Creek. Sounds great. Um, I hate them. Have you been good. transported by us before? Before? Um, I pro yeah, I think I had one other ambulance. Okay. Although it was a medivan, it was a different type, oh, it was a of, different vehicle. type of ambulance. Yeah, I don't know if it was the same company or not. Alright, well we'll head up to Salmon Creek and I'll do my due diligence for you, okay? I promise. Uh, or, I don't even currently oh, have a or, doctor or. up there. Did you know the doctor I had took off during the pandemic? They couldn't keep healthcare workers well, and they haven't had enough doctors. 28 of 76? Well, 28 76. Oh, so you're transferred us two months ago. So I yep. have, so that's good because I have your, um, everything in my system, right? So I don't have to, okay. one, ask you more questions, but two, right. you know, obviously we, have, we already have that information in our system, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? On a scale of zero to 10, what's that neck pain at right now? Um, Right now, and this is after taking ibuprofen and a flexoril, um, it is a, oh, uh, it's, a, it's a seven at times. Okay, a seven um, at times. Yeah, I'm feeling on the verge of vomiting and just really trying to not. Would you like a bag? Think about it. I might case need you one. Vomit? Yeah, I might need one as we go for the bumps. Let's see, I'm not a good at quick math. You're born in '76, so that makes yeah. you how young? Uh, 46. 46. 46. 46. Great. I'm gonna tell the hospital that we're coming. Okay. okay. And I'm sorry, I don't mean for this to be so complicated. I just don't know what my parents might be thinking. Yeah, I hear your frustration. You have to realize that it's just not our choice. We don't. I know. It's just that other family members have already died this way. So I'm trying to not be that person. I haven't even had a chance to get married, finish college, or have kids yet. If I die, my family line dies out. I'm the last one. So... Um, you're 46, right? Okay. Yeah. been to Salmon Creek before you said? I have okay. not for a couple of years because like I said the last doctor up there quit and they didn't have enough new doctors for all the patients so they left me without one for the last two years so that I hadn't haven't been there haven't had any medical care 
So you said you're kind of experiencing just some other stuff with this neck pain. Well, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Yeah. And what was the name of the of the um, what that you have that makes you where you can't really walk? It's called fasciopathy. Fasciopathy. Yeah, it's a type of neuropathy. You know, neuropathy that makes you feel like pins and needles, and it makes you not be able to walk. And like old ladies get it from diabetes usually, like not young healthy ladies. Okay. They never figured out what caused it. Um, it was another one of those freak things I just woke up with one day. And then I also have uh, something called toxic epidermal necrolysis. I'm sorry, toxic epidermal what? Necrolysis. Whatever ne you do, do not Google pictures of it when you get home tonight. It will traumatize you. Okay, I, they don't Google pictures of that. Now I know you'll do it. Now I know you'll do it because everyone. If you tell me not to, I won't. It. I had third degree burns over about eighty percent of my body. It burnt my eyes and caused me to be legally blind. I've had five eye surgeries since. One of them got botched when my stepdad punched me in the face while I was healing from surgery. And he almost got arrested back then. And I really wish I would have pushed for that. Now in hindsight. I didn't know what I have so, since allegedly been learning. I'm sorry. Um, I'm having fog brain right now. Remind me what the start of this neck pain was. Um, I would say end of April, beginning of May. It was like literally the last week of my friend's tour. I don't know if you know the band Skinny Puppy. They're my cousins. Yeah, we're a famous family. We're the Liberty family. So my uncle is Gila Laliberte, who founded Cirque du Soleil. Uh -huh. My cousins are in Skinny Puppy and some other rock bands out there. Anyhow, it was the last week of their tour. They were like within the last two shows playing in Seattle, I think, than when it happened. So it was right during, yeah, it would have been like right the end of April, beginning of May. Okay, and what happened? Um, in the middle of the night, I felt sharp, huge pain to this part of my head and this part of my head as I was laying in bed, and it lasted for uh, several hours. So it just you were just sleeping one night and it just yes, came on? Yes, yes. Huh? It's like the same thing as like waking up unable to walk one day, waking up with my legs paralyzed. Um, that's how come I can't walk anymore and they diagnosed it as fasciopathy but yeah this shit just happens in my sleep and I wake up with it um it is possible my parents may have had access to weapons contractors though I think that is something the FBI is looking into so <sighs> so you just sleep one night and yep. woke up with this and pain this pain huh? was was very acute at the time then it kind of subsided for a little while but there was still like low grade pain it feels like burning back here like like that's what it feels like it feels like and i don't know if you can see the skin on my face mm -hmm. is all like crusty and red and burnt mm -hmm. like this has been persisting ever since that happened mm -hmm. so like whatever it was that caused this like the whole back of my neck burns and this pain radiates up into my skull up here and up here <coughs> Like I can feel it in my head, and it all I can also feel it like burning, like it burns my skin. My huh. skin isn't usually like this. Have, um, you, had this any, have you ever had any scans on it or anything? Um, they were that? supposed to do a full scan at my last hospital trip when, when I was last transported, and they did. I don't believe they finished the full battery of the tests. They were so busy that night that I think they were just trying to get people out of there, maybe. And um, they did want me to go to a follow-up appointment. I was not able to get to one. And a couple months later here, it is persisting. And now I'm having nausea, vomiting. My hair is, I've got bald spots in my hair. I've lost probably about, I used to have like a big, huge bun, really thick hair. Yeah. Um, so a lot of hair loss. Um, I do want to get checked to see if it is possibly a tumor. Um, I do have specific reasons for, for wondering that. Um, 
that's kind of the big fear here. Is it a tumor? Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping it's not that. I mean, it could just be some sort of random brain injury or something. I don't know why it's persisting now. Yeah, over the last few months, huh? I can, I can feel it like all the way down my back. I also felt the same pain like back here in my spine, um, right down here. And I've been having some pain like right here in that area. Uh -huh. So here, here, and here. Um, huh. How old is uh, Honey? She is 24. Really? Yeah, the, these bugs can live to be about 100. How old are you? 23. 23. What was your apartment number? Was it 86? Hey! He's about your age. Oh, she's gay. I forget sometimes. Was it 86 was your apartment number? Uh, 88. 88. Oh. So I haven't really been able to eat as much either, like I've had um, a few bouts of vomiting, just rando, rando puking my guts out that just comes on very, very quickly. Um, and my appetite is very, very low. Recent, uh, when, yeah, recently. When did you start noticing these symptoms getting worse? Like when did you start noticing the vomiting? Um, this has been in the last two or three weeks that, that it's really, like, that's what started freaking me out, like, this isn't going away, so. And the sucky thing is, I'm unmarried, I haven't even had a chance to have kids yet because all this bizarre health stuff just keeps happening. If I die, my entire family line dies out. I don't know what my parents were thinking. Like everything I say about my family and everything, it's all alleged too. Just so you know, I have to say it's alleged for now till there's a case, but. Um, Do you have a good phone number to reach you at? Yeah, 360-607-7508. So when you go home tonight, I want you to Google something as well as toxic and wonderful microlysis. Google a song by Skinny Puppy called Survival Listo. That song was written about me. Okay. And it talks about a summit project, a summit scam. Uh -huh. And um, it's actually a really, really good freaking song. My cousins are freaking geniuses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Musically, yeah. They used to babysit me when I was little. I've known them my whole life. And uh, I used to love them a whole lot, but they couldn't stop writing shit about me without my consent, and it got uh, too overwhelming over the years, so I distanced myself from them about 10 years ago. But I used to dance at their shows. I used to be one of their show dancers. Yeah? Yeah. I don't usually tell people that. I was younger in college back then. But, uh... There might be some credibility to the stuff I'm telling you here about my family because it seems like like they might have done some of that shit too. And uh, so you were a show dancer for them, huh? For a lot of bands, yeah. That, for a lot of bands. Yeah, I grew up as a dancer. Oh. So that that's what uh, I was doing up through until I had my coma, and then a, a little bit in my 30s, and then after I couldn't walk anymore, that became a thing of the past. But yeah, I used to. Uh, I used to dance and help out with shows and stuff. Like if an artist came to town and didn't have enough backup dancers or, you know, the people on stage for their show. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'd be one of the people that they knew they could, you know, teach really quickly. Oh, okay. Um, and it saves them a lot of money too, not having to cart so many people around the country when bands are on tour. Yeah, I like that. But now I'm super pissed at them and I have been for a while, so. I don't know that I can say we're friends anymore, but but yeah, all of us kids adored them growing up. They used to do magic shows for us and stuff. Really? Yep. Take us for ice cream, take us to the carousel, stuff like that. I know you like their music, you're not allowed to listen. Something cool? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 